So my boys, my daughters, say no to homosexuality. Say no to homosexuality. Excellent. And I found you people excellent children. Is that okay? And I love you for being yourself. I love you for being boys. And I love you for being girls. Thank you. Some will be priests, isn't it? Others will go to the seminary, right? Others will go to become nuns, right? But overall, we will be mothers and excellent. Morals that is not acceptable in the society. I want you to avoid morals that is not culturally accepted. Which morals am I speaking about? Which one? Which one? Excellent. Director, any students that is involved in that act called that is not a good act that act is not good any students that is involved in that act we don't want it we love you we don't want to dismiss you but we will be forced to dismiss you for rehabilitation we will be forced to send you away from this school to be rehabilitated we will be forced to involve to invite your parents then to send you away and we go and rehabilitate you to teach you manners to teach you morals to teach you what is within, acceptable within our cultures am i going to hear again no. am i going to hear no. if i hear boys if I hear, eh? yeah. the next thing, what will I come and do? Yeah. What will I come and do? Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. God bless you all. Every single individual sits standing before me right now. You have a dream. You have a vision. You have set a dream. You have already looked at the vision from today, some years to come, what will I be like? And I want to pray that the good Lord that has called you in this world fulfill that vision. And bless you. <laughs> Number two, that you must do something to achieve your dream. You must work towards your dream. And I want you from today to note down what is it that I can do to achieve my dream? What is it that I cannot do to achieve my dream? All of you should be able to put activities, to put whatever you think can take you to your dream. You need to uphold the morals and ethical values in this country, most especially based on Christianity and based on our cultural morals. And that's why we have to speak to you. Many of us were once upon a time like you. But because of what we rely on, the foundation, the fundamental foundation that we are based on, we have been brought on a solid values, morally, with a lot of integrity. So we are here to speak to you, to build on a strong fundamental foundation which is ethically and morally upbringing, which is upright. And without that, the society will tell you, I don't know this. How much you achieve your vision, how much you achieve your dream, the society will say, morally, you are not upright. Your integrity is not right. So I want you to put God at the center of your life. I want you to put Christianity. Even the Bible says the beginning, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And I'm very much aware God has got a bigger plan for you. We read it from the Bible. The Lord said, I have a plan for you to prosper. A good plan. A plan not to destroy you. A plan for you to have hope, to have future. 
and to have a better future for you. So always put your trust in the Lord. The good thing is that you are very disciplined students. Why don't you clap again for yourself? Another good thing is that you are very smart. I can see you. Very smart. Thank you. Such level of dirty environment for you. I am a medical doctor. I feel pain. I speak with passion. When I see my students sleeping in such a dirty environment, especially the boys. So I want to tell you, I'm not happy of the cleanness, the environment you are sleeping, the dormitory. I'm not happy the way you are congested in the dormitory. You are so much congested, and I've told the director, the arrangement of the beds are not good at all. That one I will speak about it. We want way forward next time. Separate the beds. We are not twinning beds. These are not hotels. You get twinning of beds in hotel. This is a school that needs to uphold morals, that needs to nurture children who are the leaders for tomorrow. So we want beds to be not to be twin. We want enough space from where you sleep. That is something which is critically we noted in your dormitory. And I can speak without fear, without favor. Because I want the best from you. The next time I come here, I want to see improvement in the sanitation and hygiene, especially where you bathe. So I want the administration to do something about it. And we spoke about that. It is just that you are going to do examination. And you are my beloved daughters and sons. If it was at the beginning of the term, I would have closed the dormitory section for the boys. But because I don't want to interfere with examination process, I want you to continue and complete this cycle of first term. But come next term, if there is no improvement, especially in the areas of sanitation and hygiene, I'll be left with no other option other than Thank you. So that is the message. That is the message. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Thank you. I'm a parent as I've introduced myself and I'm a mother. I have children at school and you are my children. Yes. Some will be priests, isn't it? Others will go to the seminary, right? Yes. Others will go to become nuns, right? Yes. But overall, we will be mothers and excellent. Morals that is not acceptable in the society. I want you to avoid morals that is not culturally accepted. Which morals am I speaking about? Which one? Which one? Excellent. Director, any students that is involved in that act called? That is not a good act. That act is not good. Any students that is involved in that act, we don't want it. We love you. We don't want to dismiss you. But we will be forced to dismiss you for rehabilitation. We will be forced to send you away from this school to be rehabilitated. We will be forced to involve, to invite your parents then to send you away. And we go and rehabilitate you to teach you manners, to teach you morals, to teach you what is within, acceptable within our cultures. We have values, values that should be respected. We have values that we should embrace as Christianity. Are we together? Yes. So my boys, my daughters, say no to you. Say no to you. Excellent. And I found you people, excellent children. Is that okay? And I love you for being yourself. 
I love you for being boys and I love you for being girls. Thank you. Is that okay? Yes, so you have come here with a vision. That's why I talk to you. You have a vision, you have a goal, you have a dream. So make your dream come true. Do not make somebody deceive you to be sent out of school. Is that okay? Yes. I want to thank you sincerely for those of you who are candidates. Am I going to hear again? No! Am I going to hear? No! If I hear... If I hear yes. Eh? Yes. The next thing what will I come and do? Yes. What will I come and do? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. God bless you all.